Well, it's that time of the week again for Freddie's Power Rankings. Great to have him back in the studio. Brad Filler, big hello to you. James, ready to go. You are pumped. All right, let's rip into it. Starting with your teams, as always, right, here we go. sitting in number 10. Uh, after what's been a bit of a rocky patch of late, the Newcastle Knights uh, take up 10th spot in your rankings. They have jumped in there, though. They're showing... Um, a lot of might, despite having some key injuries. The Broncos. Might from the Knights. Oh, I like that. Yes. I like that as a headline there. Gallant in defeat. The Broncos have slipped from 7th to ninth, uh, just above them. The Tigers uh, can't manage to score too many points of late, and mm. they are staying in 8th on the back of a recent loss, but it's the Warriors have impressed you, jumping from ninth to 7th. I think everyone's been holding their breath, waiting for Sean Johnson to come back. He was absolutely fantastic. I think on the real support from some of the Hair Bear Bunch, there used to be a Hair Bear Bunch at Penrith a long time ago, Joe Nullivau and Tony Pulatua, but Ignatius Parsi and Isaiah, Ooh. I think it's Papalai or Papali, I'm not quite sure, but having Sean Johnson back, just playing footballs, you know, obviously just makes it a spectacle. This is a great one where Isaac Luke, who's been their best player, just hits him flying and just... And Tommy Turbo, look, Tommy had him, but just dragged him to the sideline and... And there's the other player who's fantastic. Watch David Fusser too. So good to see them back on the board. So the Warriors, I think they're still in the top four at the moment. They've done very well Looking this very part good. of the year. And Isaac Luke showing 2014 form, isn't he, at the moment, the way he's going. Uh, look, let's continue up your team power rankings. The Warriors, as we see in seventh, sixth spot. That's owned by the Roosters, dropping one. Mm. And just ahead of them, a team that's replaced them in fifth from sixth, the Melbourne Storm. What a second half that was against the Broncos on Sunday. Yeah, there's been a huge change. Um, just the way they've played and they've had to adapt. They had a couple of new players this week. They were without both centres. Scott and Chambers were both there, but they had some young blokes come in. And it's just the way they've sort of adjusted to the change of, over the years. And they made sure a lot of it due to that fellow, Cameron Munster, come back and played Origin on Wednesday night and was one of their most dangerous players. And come up with some, some try assists, some tries of his own. Vernon Vala just went out of the top of Corey Oates, which you thought wasn't actually possible, but yeah. he managed it, and Cameron Smith obviously not playing Origin. Fresh. was fantastic for them. So they just keep getting on with it, the Storm. Uh, the, so the Melbourne Storm sitting in fifth. In fourth spot, though, a side that's been in red-hot form. I think it's seven of their last eight. They've won. Staying in fourth, the Cronulla Sharks. They've only had the one player with Origin duties in Queensland to Val Holmes, and that's obviously helped. Big Paul Gallon had one of his better games over the weekend. Yeah, well, the second time he ran 90 to moves for a try, Val Holmes, in the space of about four or five days. It's more in the manner in which they're playing the Sharks. They also have had, have had to adapt to um, player change. And obviously, Matt Moylan's been one of those players. Threw a nice pass there for Edric Lee. He's been fantastic on the wing. Couldn't get a spot last year, Edric Lee. But uh, he's sort of taken Fecky's position this year. Another player, they're going to miss Jesse Raymond next year. He's been brilliant for them. And just generally, just they're getting better. Mm. You know, they've, they've improved on last year. And... You know, they won the comp a couple of years ago and, you know, you sort of wondered where they were going to go, but they've been absolutely brilliant this year. Uh, your top three, they are the three form teams in the competition, but what order is Brad going to have them in? Let's have a look. In the third spot in Freddie's team power rankings, the Dragons, they stay put. Who's ahead of them? After they went over the Bulldogs, the Dragons in third, the, the Panthers, Panthers nail-biter over the Raiders on Friday night, stay in second. And that means only one team can be number one, and it's the South Sydney Rabbitohs, six from their last six. They are red hot under Anthony Seabold. Yeah, well, two weeks in a row without their origin players. They went out there, they were quite sloppy against the Titans, come up with a lot of errors, but in the conditions, which, as you can see by the, the uh, wetness of their hair and jerseys, the conditions were tough. Cody Walker's been in brilliant form. He may be present in our player rankings. Who Ooh, knows? Cody Walker. But he's been in great form. But just the style in which they played. Campbell, Graham, Dewey, all the young blokes scoring tries. Alex Johnson, he's been great since he came back. But it's more on the back of the last week, beat the Sharks without origin players. And then this week, going up and doing it against the Titans. So he's got it going on, Anthony Seabold. Oh, yeah. And uh, in action against the Eels in Thursday night footy right here on Nine the Bunnies as they chase seven on the trot. Let's have a look at Freddie's player power rankings now on the back of seeing where his best team sit. Cameron Smith, he stays in the 10. Great performance <laughs> on Sunday afternoon as the Storm down the Broncos comprehensively. Ahead of him, James Maloney slipping from second down to ninth. But the important thing, he's still there. The Panthers playmaker. He didn't get a chance to play last week, so but James has been in great form. It's true, he has. Andrew Fafita has gone from first to eight. Still in your ten, though, the big Sharks prop. But ahead of them, he's been talking him up, and rightfully so. Isaac Luke turning back the clock jumps into your top ten in number seven, Brad. 
Yeah, he's yeah, definitely bringing back the form. Just looking fit. Everything he's doing at the moment's got uh, there's a level of intensity about it. It's a nice, beautiful pass from dummy half. He's got all the forwards running onto the ball. Sets his one up beautifully for Sean Johnson, who ends up finding Fusatua. But he's just got them all guessing out of there. And there's also a shot where he picks up Daly Cherry Evans and drops him on his head, and mm. he drops the ball. Everything he's doing at the moment is just a real, um, just uh, raising the bar for what we've expected from the Warriors week in, week out. So you know, you've got to think that they're going to be they're going to be there at the end of the year if he stays in uh, good health. Very true. Uh, look, there's someone you're keeping a very close eye on as Blues coach, and that is the man that features in the number six spot, Cameron Munster. He's jumped into mm. the top ten on the back of that uh, turnout for the Storm on the back of his Origin match on Wednesday night. Jack DeBellin sits ahead of him after the Dragons win over the Bulldogs. We know he's been playing hurt in recent times, but he's jumped from tenth to fifth ahead of him, sitting in spot number four. You mentioned him. Cody Walker, Cody one of the playmakers Walker. for the Bunnies who are looking very handy yeah. at the top. Looking a lot like Cliff Flynn's Cody Walker. Just He's got them all gets. And have a look at this. He's just tucks the ball. It seems like he's playing with plenty of time at the moment. You love when, um, when Cody Walker's playing with instinct and I think their forwards are giving him plenty of opportunity to do that. Just real 5-8s knock. Just supporting, you know, the kick, the try. He's just got a lot of time on his hands and picking his moments at... I think in his moments has been the key to his game. So, um, yeah, can't wait to... Tonight. Yeah, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Yeah, Thursday night, night footy. Awesome. Don't worry, I'm forgetting where I am at the moment mm. as well. Uh, to Bradley. <laughs> Sitting ahead of him uh, in number three position, the man who's so good to watch because it's... Winger, to... Fergo. Rocks or diamonds with this guy, but, geez, when it's diamonds, he's it's good. He's tackling his own players now. <laughs> oh, the hit on James Tedesco, how good was it? But he's made his way into the ten. He's in third. Big Fergo from the Roosters. Ahead of him, though, Tyrone Peachy in spot number two from spot number nine, the super sub for the Blues. And there he was in the centres for the Panthers on Friday night, a standout performance less than 48 hours after the fact. Absolutely. You know, big ask for these blokes playing their first Origin game and come down from that high. They had to go down to Canberra and two days later. He scored two tries. He had played a big part in this try as well. And, you know, it's, it's the energy he brings to the game that would have been a real boost for a lot of those Penrith players just to see how they turned up and if their mind were on the job. But, and he set the tone early. Well done. All right. Well done to him. And, uh, of course, we're expecting him to be there in Freddie's 17 Number ahead of game one. two. Number one in his power rankings, though. I'm watching this guy as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course you are. Especially if wow. Billy Slater's not going to be there for Queensland. Caelan Ponger, he's jumped from number four to one. Whether his team's winning or losing, he just always stands out. He's just outstanding. He's a uh, breath of fresh air, the way he's playing. He's, he's got his trademark runs where he... Uh, this is to the right-hand side, which is his left, the better. Oh. But when you have a look at that pass <laughs> and supports back on the inside, there's not much he can't do at the moment. And you know, across the highlights, you don't see him saving tries, but every game he's always underneath someone or stopping a try somehow. So I'm sure he's one of those players they're all enjoying playing with. Even if Freddie, um, even if Billy's fit, Freddie, do you think they'll get him in that, that 17 somehow? Yeah, well, he's played wing before. I don't know if you can bring just a winger and a fullback in, but I'm sure he could play anywhere. He just yep. he's a footballer, so. But it'd be a big ask, I think, you know, coming in if you had to whack him into the centres or 5-8 in his first game. But he just seems like uh, anything's achievable at the moment, Caelan. So he's a great player to watch. Bradley, nice to have you back in the studio. Go through your power rankings. It. We'll see you live and free on 9, 7.30 tomorrow night. Can't wait. Can't Eels wait. and the Bunnies. Bring it on. Brad Fitless, power rankings ahead of round 15 of the NRL.